Hi everybody, this is Chanel Victorian and we're doing an episode of Tea Girl Sex Talk and we're going to do a little uh, episode of uh, ASMR. What I have with me? Yes. So hungry. Daniela Mendez from the E Channel's Hit Show Botch and MTV's True Life. And right here, Michelle Pinata from this show. So, what I have is uh, a bacon cheeseburger with french fries. I love the bacon cheeseburgers. Mm. What do you guys have? Mm, well, I have. Some crown fried chicken. This three juicy chicken tenders and long French fries with a side of cheesy filled mozzarella sticks. Mm. And I have as well from crown fried chicken. Three glorious chicken tenders with french fries and juicy mozzarella sticks, always filled with gooey white stuff. So, just. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Yo, what a cute cute. I'm super excited to put, eat this food. Mm. I feel like we waited forever for this food to get here. Oh, how was that first bite? Mm. So try it with the sauce. Yeah. Try it with the sauce. Okay, wait, hold on. A French fry? Mm -hmm. yeah. We did wait forever. It's because it was delivered by a man, but usually when you happen to wait for a man, it's not long at all. He's over just like that when he's making a delivery. He's been sitting on this couch the whole time. Huh? Yeah. But that's besides the point. Well, our package was late. I'm gonna dip my french fry into this barbecue sauce real deep. The same way I dip my dick into the bottoms that I found. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. It looks shitty, yeah. just like the bottoms you fucked. <laughs> oh, you tried me, babe. Oh, good. Thank oh, you. I don't like to barbecue like like sauce. Oh, okay. You don't like brown sauce? No. Mm -hmm. I only like white gooey. But while y'all do that, I'm gonna enjoy some good pollen springs water. You don't need any sexy models to help sell pollen springs. Just swallow at leisure. That bacon looks a little funky though. Mm -hmm. I'm curious it's how it's like, gonna taste. It's almost like real bacon, it's like turkey bacon. That's not real bacon. Oh, just like we talked about last episode. Transgendered or women are the turkey bacon of humans. Look like the real stuff. I don't know if this is bacon. I'm disappointed. Mm. I'm so sorry. No. Looks like a big red juicy tomato on there. Reminds you of any big red mm. bottoms. Mm. It's very good that I get. It's even red got the brown bottoms. goo all over it now. <laughs> I need a man to open my ketchup. Can you open that for me? Yeah. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Here you go. They didn't give us enough ketchup. Quickly not. I like to drown my, my french fries with ketchup. Oh yeah? So, do you have a fetish for drowning? <laughs> showers, yeah. Oh yeah? Come showers. Mm. I like that though. Tell me about your orgasm face when you're getting those come showers. That's how it Like that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the noise you make? <gasps> Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. And then Daniela, talk to us about your orgasm face. My orgasm face? I don't know. I don't know really know my orgasm. I know it has to be ugly. I have to have an ugly orgasm face. I know the last time I saw it it was a little rough. <laughs> it looked like you before the surgeries. <laughs> How fucking dare you? Oh my god. But I know, you know what? I'm not a big, I'm not like a huge fan of like unrealistic noises during sex, you know? 
No. Like I like I like it to be natural. Like I don't moan like ah uh, ah. Uh. But like it's natural. Like I don't like I hate especially I hate fucking watching porn and it's fake like fake porn. Yeah, like fake noises. Like, nobody's he's like, like nobody's doing all that. Like yeah, he's not dicking you down that good, bitch. Well, you know what? If he's paying me porn star money, he gets the ah, uh, daddy. Oh my god, this dick. It's just ah, uh, it's so big and it could be the size of this mozzarella stick, but ah, uh, it is so. Ah, uh, good. Bitch, I would pay you to not have sex with me, okay? Other than that, I like to be quiet. Good. The reason being, if I'm quiet, that means my mouth's full and I can't <laughs> talk. <laughs> so do you have sex, like, face to face? Anybody? Sometimes I have sex face to pillow. <laughs> but Just I mean, I mean, on your back. I love missionary. Missionary and doggy style are my, my two favorite positions. I love missionary because I love watching a guy mm -hmm. like while he's inside of me. Like I love seeing the enjoyment in his face. Um, See, but sometimes I get a cramp. I so like missionary so because as soon as you roll over and he starts digging your asshole out real good, he loves to grab on. Missionary, <laughs> he'll grab it and just start playing with it, mm. and then he gets it going. And then when he's really sex flexible, he'll bend down and lick oh, yeah. down. Well, that's another reason I like missionary too, because it's easier for me to not. So like, if you're fucking me missionary, it's easier for me to stroke while you're fucking me. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah? I've had before- It's easier for me to nut in your butt. No, thank you. I've had before where I've been getting fucked doggy style and I've been stroking. And since I'm doggy style, I'm like, there's so much friction hitting my hand from stroking because it's like, my hand is like hitting the, the bed, like the yeah. sheet. I've got like rug burn on my knuckles from stroking while being fucked doggy style. I prefer to get fucked when I'm ready to come riding cowgirl. See, I'm a lazy fuck. That. I don't like I don't like riding. Oh no no no, don't get it twisted, girl. So when I ride, I'm squatted like this. He has to put his hands under here and make me do it. Just so that way I can sit there and get it off. Mm. Guys love it. This, let me yeah. ask you this. Do guys love when you're riding them and you're not all over their chest? Yes. Yes. I do all the time. Sometimes they get angry because they wanted it in their mouth, not on their chest. Well, what you can do is like them sit below. Like, you stand on top of them and put it in their mouth so they can have their tongue out. And yeah. you can just drip from their chin to the chest. Right. But I have a porn star cum shot, so I can stand from here and hit that wall. So I don't have to worry about it. When I'm riding on there, I usually hit their face and mm. their chest. I think Excuse I me, that was so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Danielle's look tonight, butch. <laughs> I think guys like cum shots. I think that's, mm -hmm. that's what they care about. They want to know if you can cum. Well, do you swallow cum? I mm. swallow the pre-cum, but I don't like cum. I like the cum. Oh my face. Oh my god, I agree. I agree. Well, elaborate. How do you not like the taste of cum yet you swallow pre cum? But pre cum is pre cum taste. tastes worse. It's no, it's sweeter. The thing is, I don't like cum. Then y'all are sucking some tainted dicks. No, I don't even like cum in general. Like, see, I love cum. I will suck a dick for a few minutes and then you have to fuck me. Because number one, I hate when I'm sucking a guy's dick so good and then he fucks and then you, I don't get fucked. So it's yeah, like, okay, well then well, where's my pleasure? Well that's when you pleasure? do ass to mouth. Uh, then where's my pleasure? You well then do M-A-M. -M. Mouth, ass, mouth. That's too much work, honey. It's the way, really, cause you the way it works is you lick it. Too much no, work? You lick it before you stick it, honey. So you suck it for a minute or two and then you put it right in your ass. So See, that's it. I'd rather burp and taste it than fart and waste it. That's why I swallow. <laughs> You'd rather burp that and taste it. You'd rather burp and taste it than fart and waste it. Exactly. Being that I'm a Southern Belle, I'm always taught to swallow in front of boys and don't spit. Because mm -hmm. the boys down there are men. It's the land of where men are men and the sheep are scared. And I'd be out in the field going, bah. <laughs> Oh, bitch, so you'd be getting fucked out in the field. Yes, girl, I grew up on a farm. I got fucked on a four-wheeler. I've been fucked what you do? on like my horse. Right now. I've been fucked in the barn. I've been fucked in the corral. Basically, you name it. And 
the fields. I was doing it and my daddy didn't even know because he worked overnight so my boyfriend would come over while I was after school working on the field. He'd come over, help me in the field and to thank him, I'd suck his dick, fuck him in the ass or let him fuck me. So this, this one time he pulled this? a gun. I can't give his name, but he looked like Eminem. Oh, I he's actually he was a family boy. member. Right? No, no, no. Girl, I said Tennessee, I know how you not down. Arkansas. Okay, bitch, I know how you got to down south. I said Tennessee, not Arkansas, I'll be girl. fucking y'all cousins. Well, you're the one that fucks pigs, not me. So, were you actually milking the cows or you were getting milked? Both. Okay. So, what did you now, want to do about it? I had to get up at 5 a.m. every day before school, so that way I could go outside and milk the cows fresh. Mm -hmm. And so you go out there, you grab the udder, and it really teaches you how to jerk a man, because you have to yes. grab it and be utterly ridiculous and squeeze it real tight and pull it down. And then work back up, then squeeze it real tight and pull it down. So it's just like jacking a dick off, just upside down. Mm. So it made me expert at being gay. And then being a trans woman, giving hand jobs. Yes. Have you ever been milked? No. I'm not getting my ass ate. Oh, yeah? Well, you should milk Daniela, but I think you'd only get saline. My contacts are a little dry. <laughs> Listen, when you are having a bad day, there is nothing like being milked. Listen, being milked, busting a nut. Busting and not being milked, whatever you want to call well, can it. Can I get some gravy for these? They're dry. <laughs> Busting and not. There's some barbecue sauce right there. Busting no, I meant your baby gravy. <laughs> Busting a nut and coming um, is a great stress reliever. Do, can we all agree on that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But sometimes you don't want to do the work. You want them to do the work. Yeah, I just. And, I just, just, and just, you know, just sit there and just, you know, lay me out. Yeah, well, when you're a lazy bitch like that, that's why they come see me. This is true. Well, I mean, that's very true because we've had moments where we've been out and about, and I'm looking like this, and that's looking like that. Or I'm looking worse. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, the boys will bypass me and run straight to you. Is that not true? That is so true because. They know they get the thrill with this cheap pill. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. So I have a couple of good friends who are cross-dressers. And... You have friends? If I... If, if, no, wait, wait, wait. You have friends. If I have a guy who comes, who steps to me trying to get at me, and I know that he fucked with one of my cross-dresser friends, I won't fuck with him. Why? Because you consider him gay since he fucked Not because I consider him gay. It has nothing to do with considering him gay. I won't fuck with him because I feel like if you're gonna, and like, you know, my cross friends look crazy. But like, for instance, And the same guy that fucks you, fucks you, and will fuck me, well, that's and will what I, fuck our cameraman. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. And that's we'll also exactly fuck the dog down there in the cage. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like, okay, if you're yeah, fucking girl, anything that's walking, so you you're just not don't want to know me. because they all come fuck you. I'd they rather not know. Walk. Yes, I'd rather not know. So you'd rather just show up in your STD panel? I use condoms. Oh, okay. This was brought to you in part by Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know about condoms. I think you call it balloons. Mm. I got educated. This is episode three. That was episode one. Try to school a bitch, bitch. Oh, okay. I got so, you. Yeah, but so when when the guys choose choose her over me, and when I say that, I know you all you guys watch. I know y'all know we're just kicking. We're just playing around. Um, but when the guys choose her over me. I don't necessarily take it personal, you know. I mean, I'd be gagging. I'd be like, "Well, damn, okay." She's but, not a threat. But no, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, there's so much. Well, how am I not a threat? There's so much dick in the world. I'm not gonna stress over a yeah, couple that shoots her over me. No, I get that. There's so much dick in the world, but girl, every time we go out together, literally, you don't get no dick until you <laughs> go away from me. <laughs> well, that's not a wow with you no more. <laughs> So why do you think the guys are so drawn to you when they see you? Guys are so drawn to me because I am very outspoken and I am me. I don't try to put on a facade of someone I'm not. And I don't sit there and worry about, oh, is he looking at me? Is he looking at me? I just walk right up and say, hey, dude, nice shoes. Want to fuck? 
they go great. I give them a compliment and I'm to the point. Or if they see me versus they see Daniela and they come approach me, it's because usually I'm really out there and I'm loud and You're I'm very boisterous. Outspoken and you right. want it you want it when you want it. Exactly. And I get it when I want it. Or do you think that it's because they might feel like you might be um they may clock you before Daniela? And that could be that because that they um, might clock me because they know my gender before they clock Daniela. Mm. But at the same time, let's face it, do you want Botox or natural? So are you, are you here on live on this episode telling us that you are no surge, no sell? Right now, yeah, I'm no surge, no sell. Okay. So, I'm like you, fix a flat. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll yeah. take that. I don't, I don't mind looking like a blow-up doll, honey. Uh, I'm a paid blow-up doll. <laughs> While you're over there being a freebie friend. Girl, it's for a pack of camels. Don't get it twisted. And a blowjob. This dick won't suck itself. I've tried. It won't listen. It seems like it's a lot of unresolved issues. So I think, are we about to take some questions from viewers? Yeah. I think that's what we're doing. We're going to take some questions from viewers. The first question we have from the viewer is, what are your fetishes? Mm, what is your favorite? Your fetish? So, I have, um, I have a bunch of different fetishes, but I'll, I'll tell you the... <laughs> is that mozzarella stick good, honey? <laughs> I'll tell you. I will tell you my two um, most important fetishes. And they are a foot fetish. An ass fetish. I love a nice booty. It doesn't have to be super fat, although I love super fat booties, but I love a nice plump booty. <clears throat> I just stick my head in. And then I love feet. Like when guys have. So let's get this right. You put your booty in her face, I'll put my feet near her hands, and we'll both be good tonight. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a beautiful nightmare. Yes. So and then I have a foot fetish. I love guys who have beautiful feet, like cute. You know, cat feet. You don't have to have the most perfect feet, but have your toes clipped. You know, don't have too many corns. Don't have too many rough edges. And I will suck the fuck out of your toes. You now, know? how do you suck fuck out of toes? The same way you suck that mozzarella stick just now. No, but literally, how do you suck fuck? The same way you suck down that mozzarella stick. Okay, so um, my fetish is um, buck thighs that dress in superhero costumes. Oh yeah? So you have yeah. a superhero fight. I, I think, yeah. I can see it's that. Yeah, it's definitely something I've been trying to get into. And I can't find the right guy with the perfect body to fit. Uh, but that's why you buy the costume that has the perfect body built into it. No, and you I, just I like the whole out no, the uh -uh. penis. Mm -mm. I, want, I want to peel off the costume when I'm just going crazy and ape shit on him. I want the muscles to still be there. I don't want it to fall off and it's, it's padded. I'm not not with all that. So. Oh, well then, girl, you might have to pay for a model then. Oh no, I have a, uh, I've met somebody recently. He's a oh, bodybuilder. Okay. So I just gotta get his measurements. Oh. But other than that, yeah, that's my my big fetish. I love ass too, but I mean, yeah. not so you, extensively. So you provide the costume for Um, usually I come up with the idea. Well, Daniela can come as super trans. Yeah, who's Daniela, no, no, she'll no, be super trans, trans, a superhero. Okay. She'll create her size. And when Daniela flies, her ass will whistle. It goes. What about you? What's your fetish? My fetish is sucking dick. I think that's everybody's fetish. No, but literally. Everybody it's like suck dick. Yeah, but no, literally, like Daniela was talking about, but she's gonna suck dick. She's gonna suck dick, and that's it and she's gonna get fucked, like she's not gonna sit there all day. Uh -huh. I can sit there all day and literally suck a fucking dick. Uh -huh. The first time I quit smoking, I asked my boyfriend at the time to stay with me for 48 hours, so that way I could suck his dick every time I wanted a cigarette. Uh -huh. He stayed with me 72 hours, the poor boy's dick was raw and red from me sucking at all time. Which, what and did your gums look like? My gums look like they had my teeth in prints in them. Well, what teeth I do have left? Raw and red. He was white? No, he was Latin. Mm. Mexican, to be exact. So his head was pinker than red. 
No. Well, I mean, I guess if you have to Red. define a color. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Describe your most memorable fuck. That's a good one. I got that one. Is that what that says? Memorable. Memorable fuck. Girl, get hooked on phonics. Girl, uh, I can't see. I'm half blind, so. So am I. Well, you can see better than I can. Girl, that's so, why I got up and looked at the paper during yeah. the bloopers. Yeah. So, describe my most memorable fuck. It would have to be that same farm boy that helped me on the farm. When I was 19, I had my own apartment. He came over. His family found out me and him were fucking. He flipped his shit. He pulled a 45 out from behind his back. It was on the back of his pants. He stuck it to my head, and he's like, I'm gonna kill you, you motherfucking this, that, and the other. One thing led to another, I pushed back, we got into a fist fight, and then he ended up taking the chamber out of the gun and fucking me with the gun to my head. It was hot. I can't compete with that, I can't compete with that. So basically, you're telling me your most memorable fuck <clears throat> also could have been your last. Well, no, girl. That's why I said he took the bullets out of the chamber. He took the magazine out. He hit that eject button, and it went, whoosh, and the magazines came out. And then you pull back the hammer, and the one in the chamber comes out. So, so we do not also condone girls having sex with guns. It is very dangerous, and it was just a question I was trying to answer honestly. Was it... My favorite, no, but was it memorable? Yes, and that's why it came out. Favorite. Mm. A favorite moment. A favorite moment. Most memorable, good moment. Okay. So, most memorable, good moment of how. Um, moving sex. along, bitch, okay. Chill out. Um, every time I have sex, it's better than the other one, so I don't really have a favorable moment. Nobody can talk. The other ones and it's like every time I have sex it's always better than somebody else so do you so are you saying that you drive you drive the the sex when it comes to your partners because you're saying every time you have sex it gets better and better so is that because of uh, you is that what you're saying well I mean you know, or because you're picking different partners <clears throat> picking different partners yeah gotcha Cause you guys sent a lot of frogs to find a prince. Uh, I guess so. I'm looking, when for you're, my, I'm looking for my superhero. When you're single, is there is there a such thing as too many sex partners? As long as you're being safe? Yeah. What's too many? When your asshole is falling out of your body. Yeah, but then can't you just use the other end? Sometimes you don't want to be sucking dick all, all day or all every day. Like, no. Well, I meant you being a top. No, I, sometimes I don't want to do that. Um, I would rather get fucked than fucked. Um, yeah. so you're a big dick bottom. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Okay, okay, have you met Daniela? She's a big dick power top. So my favorite fuck would have to have been the dream I had. <laughs> I could have seen well, We just were your favorite no, I thought she told me not to, to, we were skipping it. This is what she said favorite. Let somebody else talk. Oh, okay, go for it. So my, um, it's favorite fuck or memorable? Favorite memorable, moment. which would be a good memorable moment. Yeah, so my most memorable fuck is probably the time where I was raped. Now, don't be alarmed, y'all. I do not condone rape, and this is not a true and actual rape, okay? So it's role play. I love role play. Do you girls like to role play? Yeah. yeah. I fucking love role play. So what I do is, I usually set up the scenario beforehand, obviously earlier in the day. And what I do is, I pretend to be a parent, right? A parent, you're out of town, mm -hmm. and you ask the guy, the guy that's just gonna come rape you, you say, hey, listen, you know, my daughter is um, not answering the phone and we're out of town. You say, hey, listen, my daughter is out of the phone and um, we're out of town, can you go check on her? And I'll leave the door open. Whatever, so they come over, they check, they come to check on, and you also have to say, okay, if she's sleeping, you know, just leave and let us know, okay? So they come, the door's already open, they I, they already know how to get in to where I'm at, to my apartment, the bedroom, and I'm laying there naked, sleeping. Sometimes I actually do fall asleep, and I wake up by the third stroke by some random guy that I've never met before, and I'm, you know, hey, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you fucking me? Stop, no, I'm a virgin, I'll stop. 
So it's a rape scene. So that's my most memorable. Um, do you feel empowered when you do that? Do I feel empowered? No, it's about giving up control. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm such a powerful, strong woman that sometimes I like to give up that control. You know? You like to be raped by a random stranger while well, play raped by a random stranger. Mm -hmm. So how do you know how this is going to actually go down? Like, I mean, you never know. The you guy don't. Can come in. You don't. And that's a part of the fantasy that you never know how it's actually going to turn out. So you're okay with that. You're okay with some random person just walking in your house and could end up beating you within an inch of your life, could rob you blind. Bitch, you were just getting fucked with a gun to your head and you judging me for being raped? I'm not judging you for being raped. I'm just asking if you're willing to have these random people in there. I'm not, no judgment here. I'm like I'm ready, fitness. willing, and able, honey. Right. Well, wait, wait. So the viewers seem like they want to see a kiss. Okay, so we can see so how far. So I think we should kind of show them. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> how trans women kiss. Yeah! So, okay, go ahead. No, we no, don't. Okay. So, um, somebody asked about us making love. Yeah, the question was, yeah, how do you, how do you, you ladies feel about making love? Well, it depends on the person. I can't see myself making love to just anybody. It has to be like some type of connection. Um, sex is sex, unless it's really like worth, you know, being passionate with. But just anybody. I mean, to me, I feel like to make love, you have to be in love, right? Yeah. And I'm. You don't think so? Not really. I think. Because the last guy I was with, he says, oh, I'm really passionate and things like that. And I'm like, well, I'm not even really feeling you like that. So but it's still fucking. Yeah. So would we just Yeah, try? but the way he was looking at me, like he was so in love with me. But you're not making love. He is making love. You're getting fucked. So would we describe making love as passionate sex? Is that what making love is? I think it's I more think like... I both ends. I would think, like, it's the passion that you kiss and look at each other, like, you know bite in the ear and things like that, sucking and swallowing, I'm not saying swallowing, but, you know, sucking and... No, because, I mean, at that point, it becomes a freak session, you know? So, to me, making love is just more like, it's it's slow, it's passionate, there's really, there's just really a lot of kissing, and it's not... It's very powerful. It's really not about anything else, you know? Not about all the extra stuff. Okay, so you have fucking, making love, and what else? Hooking up. Hooking up. Yeah, but hooking up is under the same um, brand as um, Well, it fucking. depends, because some people don't like to kiss when they hook up. And some people like to kiss when they fuck. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like four -play. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. That's a very interesting thing. Out of, out of all the straight guys, out of all the straight guys that we hook up with, mm -hmm. what percentage of them actually like to kiss you? Um, I would say 25%, and it's after they've repeatedly come to me several times that they finally get comfortable enough to kiss. They're usually more comfortable to put my dick in their mouth than they are to kiss me. And that's what I don't understand. You're, you're, you're so quick to put my dick in your mouth or to eat my ass, but you, you won't, kiss, won't me. kiss me. Why is that? Why do you think that is? I guess they feel like they're on some level still consider us a man and they get the visual and the connection in between the two people. I and think because sometimes they, when, they face, when they're face to face with some, I think it could be like um, some men, I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> but you've had that, that happens to you too, I'm sure. But not with all men. There's men who come at me, and I'm like, oh, I, I, I'm not even ready for it. Cause no, yeah, yeah. You right. got yeah. a face full of makeup and lipstick. You don't want to be my But you would have them. But they're guys lives. that probably don't, maybe being that intimate with you, it scares them. Do you, do you think right. it has to do with because we're trans, or are they just scared of intimacy in general? Like, what do you think it is? But you got guys that will sit there and deep throat you and look up at you. Like, what is the difference? With that eye lock intimacy. But some of them, it could be because you're trans. 
because of the intimacy or because they don't feel what they're doing with us is cheating on their girlfriends but when they kiss that's cheating. I've known a lot of people that think that as long as they could be in an open relationship. They don't care if their partner goes out and fucks this one, that one, and the third, as long as they don't kiss. There's a line that you don't cross because that's when it goes back to intimacy and it becomes very intimate. Mm. As in making love. Sticking your dick in somebody else's mouth. Yep, that's not crossing the line. One of the viewers said, That's not. That's not. Listen, listen. One of the viewers said, Most men, this is in reference to, you know, the kissy and all that. Most men just want to do it for a fetish. It's okay to fuck, but it's weird to kiss them. Because you get it? So, like, yeah. he's trying to say, like, they fetishize trans women. It's just like a sexual fantasy. So, it's okay to fuck your sexual fantasy, but it's not it's, okay. It becomes weird when but it's then kissing. But it becomes that intimacy. Again, right. it comes back to that. Well, I mean, I think that's enough questions for today. Did we all enjoy our food? It was really fucking good. It was. It was. So I couldn't really enjoy it by talking and talking. Yeah, you know, can't enjoy it. So is the moral? You can't of the, is can't. the moral of the story is we should not be eating and talking. No, just be eating. Just be eating or talking. You can't eat ass and talk at the same time. You heard it here first. I can't. Yes. So what do you think about being sexual fetishes? I mean, we can't just leave it off on that. I mean, so the men want you to be their sexual right, fantasy. Fetishes. You know, what about, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about being somebody's fetish? So how do, how do we feel about being a man's sexual fetish, fetish or fantasy? And he won't even kiss you. Yeah, being objectified. Well, I always get kissed, so that's, that doesn't include me. But even if you always get kissed, you don't think on some level no, you're somebody's really, fetish and fantasy? I really do not care, really. No? Because these guys are not really trying to take it to another level. They just want to get their nut. As long as I get my nut, I'm the same way. I have no emotional ties to it. Well, I start to care at some point when I see them frequently. Like, there's one guy I've seen for the last two years. We do kiss. Um, and we've talked that we could be a decent couple if he wasn't in an arranged marriage but that's a whole nother spectrum but um, for the guys that come over all the time and they want you to be their fantasy always and you're not getting anything extra out of it I mean you're really being taken advantage of I think that when you really sit down and think about it being sexually fetishized 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 being sexually fetishized, fetishized, whatever. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, you know, for men to look at you in that way and only in that way, when you sit down and think about it, it's really sad. It's sad because to me, before anything, before I'm trans, before I'm anything, I'm a human being, right? We're all human, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. And it's just... It, it's sad. I feel like it's sad. Yeah, because it's kind of hurtful. It's like that yeah, it's like you're blood. not even a person. To, to them. You're just like a sex toy. It's like I don't want to. I don't want to grow old and be alone. And I definitely don't want to grow old and still be a sex object. You know. So yeah. yeah. But you know, enough about how I feel about it, Michelle. How do you feel about being old and being a sex object? Well. How I feel about it is, I feel good about being a sex object because that means I'm still getting mine and he's getting his. And you're you're okay with being an old sex object is what I'm saying? Yeah, because I'm going to have some little young boy on the side that's my sex object. Mm -hmm. You've never heard of having a pool boy? Oh, okay. Touche, my dear friend. <laughs> Too gay. <laughs> so, until next time, peace and love. Bye.